Oye, oye. No, sorry. Um, <clears throat> so this is the October 5th, uh, 2023 Massachusetts Pirate Member Meeting. Uh, I'm James O'Keefe, resident of Somerville and uh, party captain, I guess. Um, also here is... I am Steve Rebelock. I am the uh, I am the first mate, and I live in Arlington. I am here with Alice. She is a cat. <laughs> and my dog is not here, thankfully. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, reports: um, <clears throat> Boston last Wednesday had a. Um, the mayor had put forward a set of funding requests, basically accepting federal funding. There were four grants up to a total of $3.4 million. And even though the mayor had previously said she would not support those, um, she reneged and put them on the agenda, uh, whereupon even though we and um, <clears throat> uh, Restore the fourth. Um, the ACLU, uh, Muslim Justice League, and various other groups um, all attempted to get people to turn out to oppose this. Um, didn't unfortunately, unfortunately, got accepted on basically seven to five, where every single person of color voted against it. We'll leave it at that. Um, <clears throat> so that unfortunately didn't go our way. Um, but we did send it an email. We had posts about it, social media, uh, called up family members, <laughs> no, you know, notified people um, to see if they could contact their city councilors. And um, yeah, so that was busy. Um, <clears throat> we have a conference on October 14th at the West Summerville branch of the Summerville Public Library. Details are at um, masspirates.org slash blog slash conference. And that's all I have to report. Do you have anything to report, Steve? You know, my life in local politics is keeping me busy. Arlington has a special town meeting coming up uh, later in this month where we will vote on whether to adopt a um, you know, multifamily zoning as required by the state's new law requiring uh, communities that receive MBTA service to adopt multifamily zoning. Um, and we also have a whole bunch of other stuff. And, you know, my, my you know, my... Next two weeks are going to be, well, participating in town meeting, but also giving lots of presentations uh, leading up to that. So that is my report. <laughs> what happens if Arlington does not adopt such zones? So, so we, there are <clears throat> sort of two main impacts. Um, Impact number one is, well, we'll have to try it again next year because we, the law does not Arlington is an adjacent, what's called an adjacent community, and our deadline for adoption is at the end of 2024. The one thing that we will miss out on is um, we were one of the communities back in 2020 that submitted a home rule that submitted home rule petitions to the state, asking for the permission to regulate. Uh, fossil fuel use in new construction and substantial renovations. So <clears throat> the, you know, the legislature, rather than granting these individual um, home rule petitions, decided to uh, do a, basically run a pilot program where 10 cities and towns will have the chance to, um, will be given permission to enact this local legislation, and we'll see how it goes. So uh, we are in, we were one of, you know, our, one of the 10 that submitted, so, you know, we've, 
if we pass this, we will have the opportunity to to do the to basically do um, some more like decarbonization work. We'll be able to say you must build all electric buildings, for example. Mm -hmm. um, if not, then we will lose that opportunity, and you know it may be years before we have, um, you know, it it becomes an option again. So it's, cool. it's basically, if failing to do this will kind of mess with our our community's net zero goals in an unfavorable way. <laughs> so we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, it's it's going to be one of these things where, well, there are actual policy decisions here. So what are what 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 are your priorities? And we're gonna we're gonna be figuring that out. Nice. Um, so, in terms of United States Pirate Party issues, um, they had a meeting last Sunday. They're going to be electing a new auditor in two weeks' time. So, if anyone would like to be an auditor for the Massachusetts, for the National United States Pirate Party, um, contact us and we can help you out with that. Info at masspirates.org. Uh, so the conference is coming up. We've got a planning pad. Um, in terms of the schedule, so we have we have the location from 9.30 to 12.30. So I would say 9.30 would be, 9.30 to 10 would be set up. 10 to 10.30 would be people milling around, talking. Um, and then, uh, so from 1030 to 1230 would be two hours. We have a speaker, uh, Gregory Boyce, who's going to be, uh, talking for about 20 minutes and then 10 minutes or so of questions. Um, and the topics probably um you know, it's probably something like 45 minutes of you know a few minutes introduction and then like five minutes of introduction and then 40 minutes of running for office why you should do it uh then probably Gregory speaks, and then uh, another 45 minutes of planning the next three months. Mm -hmm. Is that a good schedule? Sounds good. Uh, what is Greg's topic? Ah, let me, let me get that. Um, I should remember that off the top of my head, but... I need to look it up. <clears throat> Sorry for the delay. It's an email. So the title is um, Creating a More Distributed and Fair Tech Industry. So that's the title. I don't Any other observations about the schedule, Steve? No, it uh, looks good. Okay. Just trying to get it down uh, so, in, the, in the summary. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Uh, so the uh, we've had some people who have said they're going to attend, uh, one of whom needs a ride, so I'll reach out to them about that. Um, the Boston... So that just for folks at home, that's 10 a.m. 
uh, to 1230 p.m. Saturday, October 14th, Somerville Public Library, West Branch, Davis Square. Again, masspirates.org slash blog slash conference. <clears throat> and um, you will be able to, you can attend in person if you'd like. We encourage people to mask, but the, the library does not require it. Uh, or you can attend online. So we'll be setting that up as well. Um, so anyhow, and we'll also be recording it. So you can see all of it. <clears throat> multiple ways of interacting or merely viewing. So the Boston Anarchist Book Fair uh, is November 11th and 12th. Um, I put in a presentation request and a table request. We'll hear back from them uh, sometime in October as to whether one or both uh, or neither were approved. Um, okay, so nothing to report on local outreach. Uh, for the Boston Anarchist Book Fair, there exists the possibility we might join a table with another group. I'll see if we actually get a table and whether that other group decides in the end that they want to have, have a table. So. <clears throat> um, and then the only other thing is the video newsletter podcast. We had one last Sunday. Um, <clears throat> this Sunday works for you, Steve? This Sunday works for me. Okay. And then probably, uh, since we'll have the conference on the 14th, we probably won't have one. Um, on the 15th then. We'll probably skip the 15th. Um, and then come back the 22nd. So uh, the only other thing that I can think of is there's been a lot of talk about the Elizabeth Warren uh, sponsor, co-sponsoring COSA which is one of the many bad internet bills. But some of the things that it specifically does is it requires uh, social media providers and the like to have, I think it's a duty of care, um, which is you know suitably vague. Uh, but even worse than that is it, it allows attorney generals state attorney generals to be able to uh, go after platforms that allow kid speech by kids they don't like. So if you're trans, if you are um, gay, and you want to find out information on either of those topics, um, your Missouri or Louisiana or some other um, not great attorney general could go after um, Facebook, Facebook and be like, or Google, you're, you're, you're providing recommendations about transitioning. You shouldn't do that, <laughs> you know, which is just free speech implications are just out the window. I mean, they're just incredible. So, uh, yeah, Warren, Senator, Massachusetts Senator Warren signed on on that. Great. Um, so probably that's the focus for next week <laughs> in terms of activism. AKA heads up, that'll probably be Empire News. All right, with that, um, anything else you want to bring up, Steve? Uh, nothing here. Uh, and then, if I recall correctly, we said we would put a poll out for the winter winter conference, correct? Uh, I believe that is correct, yes. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, we'll get that one out soon. All right, uh, with nothing else, 
Thank you, Steve. Um, you too can join us at uh, our Massachusetts Pirate Party member meeting uh, Thursday, 9 p.m., roughly every other uh, Thursday. There will not be one next Thursday, uh, but for the following Thursday, we will aim for that. Um, and with that, have a good day, Steve. Bid you adieu, all who are watching. Uh, hope you found this informative and helpful, and do check us out at masspirates.org. Take care, folks. Bye. Have a good evening.